on very short notice. We've all known that there's been rumors of the Jarvis lanes being removed, but we had no idea when or how quickly or with such little consultation. Why don't you all come in a bit? Because I can't. It's just a little speaker, and I'm on a very flimsy stage that could fall down like the Ottawa show, and we don't have insurance, so I just got to be careful here. Come on in. Come on closer. Amazing how many people here. Thank you so much. Can you hear me at the back? Amazing. There's a helicopter. Can you hear me? Amazing. Um, Councillor Paula Fletcher is here. Let's have a round of applause for her. Director of the Toronto Cyclist Union. Round of applause for her for organizing this event. As you can see, the bike lanes are still there. As you can see, we have one city councillor who's here. We need 22 more between now and whenever to change that vote so we can ride on the street safely. planning does not have to be a process of polarization. It does not have to turn the city into a war between bikes versus cars, or between downtown versus the suburbs. There's a word that most of us learned in kindergarten called sharing. It's about whether or not we believe in sharing. 
It's about whether or not we're prepared to stand up for our rights and our safety on our streets in our city. movement, but we know there's a lot of stereotypes around cyclists that we're reckless and we're selfish and we break the rules. We have to be careful here. We need to be bold, but not confrontational. We need to be firm, but not aggressive. We can even be angry, but not reckless. And I encourage you to remember that as we go out on this ride today. We can, we can challenge what's happening here. I personally am prepared to put my body down if the trucks ever come out to take out these lines. I'll put my body down in front of those trucks. Who else would? <laughs>